One of the best things about Google Ads is that they are constantly adding new features and new ad products to the whole Google Ads mix. And a couple of days ago, there was the Google Marketing Live, which is an event where Google announces new features to Google Ads and general like marketing topics and all that kind of stuff. And on there, they, as pretty much always, announced a bunch of really interesting new features that are about to come to Google Ads in 2019. So in today's video, I want to talk about these announcements because they really have the potential to also also help your business grow further and have some really interesting features that you can use to sell more products in your online store or in general in your online business. So I will talk about nine individual features so make sure that you stick to the end because you never know if one of them is actually super interesting uh, for your business so make sure that you watch all of these features and let me know in the comments if you are you know eagerly waiting for them and what are the main Google Ads features that you use right now. So what would be really interesting to know and if you enjoy this video of course don't forget to leave a like. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, so the first thing that is gonna come are ads on Google Discover. Now, if you don't know what Google Discover is, if you go to the Google homepage, so just google.com on a mobile phone, you will see that below the search bar, you can actually see some kind of news feed. So there will be news based on your interest and what you have browsed so far. Um, and if you use the Google app on your smartphone, it will always start this Google Discover as well. And now Google announces that they are planning to launch ads there. Why is that so interesting? Well, so far, um, you know, ads on a newsfeed have some, is something that has always only been placed on Facebook, not on Google. So Google was always about people have some intent, they're looking for something and you give them a product in that very moment. And Facebook was you play something on their newsfeed, right? So like passively in a way. Now you can also do that on Google um, Discover. I'm actually not, not sure how many people actively use that, but I'm pretty sure that it's quite a lot of people, um, definitely millions of people who make use of, of Google Discover. And if you can place your ads there, it's very powerful because there is some sort of intent because Google has access to search data still, of course, and they can combine like someone who ha has like searched for um, clothes over the past two weeks all the time. You can you can now place your ad on that p uh, person's discover channel on this p uh, on this person's uh, Google Discover and give them new interesting products that they might want to check out. Number two are gallery ads and they seem to be really interesting because they take place on the search engine results page. So when someone enters something on Google, which is the moment where they are really looking to buy something, you can place a so-called gallery ad, which then, you know, is a very big immersive visual experience where you can show more about your products and they can ultimately also check out. So it's kind of similar to a Google shopping ad. I'm not sure exactly sure how it will look like in the very end, but um, I will definitely keep an eye on that because it seems like a really interesting ad product that you can especially also use for e-commerce. Number three is that they are going to make a few improvements to smart bidding. So, you know, um, automated bidding strategies like target ROAS, maximize conversions, all that kind of stuff. They will get some new improvements. So there will be some optimization on the campaign and ad group levels. And uh, there are a bunch of new things that they plan to do here to make your automated bidding strategies more successful, more powerful. So it's not really a new feature in the sense, it's more that they are planning to really add some cool functionality and some and some improvements to the currently available smart bidding strategies that you should always try in your account at least like a couple of times. Number four are bumper ads. Now, bumper ads will be made available to every advertiser this year. So far, not everyone has access to it. And if you don't know, bumper ads are these short six second video ads that uh, you know um, play before a YouTube video. And now you might think, well, why would you run a six second video ad, right? There's not, the not, not enough time to actually take action. Well, actually this can be very, very effective because if you place multiple of them, like in different styles and different, uh, different content, people People will get very very aware of your brand so if you do this multiple times it's actually pretty powerful because because it's so short people will pay more attention to it and if you combine multiple of them this will also make a big difference because people will be really you know drawn will be really into your brand so of course it depends on your budget whether you can create these video ads these short bumper ads of course you need more resources to create them than with a simple search ad but especially if you have a budget if you are planning to build a brand etc then this can be extremely extremely powerful now also they will be some uh, releasing a bumper machine that allows you to convert a video that is less than 90 seconds and you know convert it into multiple bumper ads so that if you have one long video you don't have create 10 different bumper ads you can actually convert it 
into bumper ads if you have one long video. Now, of course, we don't know how successful and how good these machine generated bumper ads will be, but it's definitely something interesting that you also may want to try out in your business. Number five is audience expansion. Now you probably know about lookalike audiences, right? So you take a group of people that took an action on your site, like purchasing something, checking out, adding something to cart, and you try to find new people that are like those because they prove uh, they have proven that they're interested in your business. And if you find people like them, this means that this is a pride, quite a powerful audience. Now with audience expansion, Google is doing something uh, you know similar. Uh, they will take people that have taken action on your site and they will find similar people for you that you can then target. So audience expansion will be a very powerful way to use your, your past audiences and find new people that are like the old ones so that you can breach into a customer segment that is way more likely to actually take meaningful action on your site, which most of the cases is probably a actual sales conversion. Then number six, we have custom audiences. So you know them from Facebook already and so far on Google you have affinity audiences. Then we have custom audiences and they are also really interesting because they will mix intent and they will also mix affinity audiences under one powerful roof, right? So, so far on Google, you can use affinity audiences, which are people that are quite likely to um, be interested in a certain category. And you also have like in-market audiences of people who are currently uh, searching for products like yours. And with these custom audiences, you are basically able to combine that and to create one powerful audience that is interested in your product, probably also searching for it right now. And, you know, uh, showing your ads to these people may be a very, very useful and profitable thing because they are so relevant for your business already. They are looking for products like yours. And of course, it should be easier to convert those people than a totally fresh, cold audience where you don't know about their preferences, about what they like, what they're looking for, etc., etc. So this will be very interesting. I'm definitely really hyped for that feature too. Next, we have checkout on Google Shopping. So shoppable Google Shopping if you want. And I'm not quite sure how we will be able to use it for ourselves but basically what Google wants to do is they want to allow people to check out and buy something right on Google Shopping so you they don't have to go to your store and then put something in the cart and then check out and then buy. They can do it from shopping, which means of course that people who really trust Google, which should be quite a lot of people, and to that, you know, they basically want to minimize friction with that. So the main point is that Google wants to minimize friction. So if you can find the product right away and if you can buy it or check out right on Google, this of course is a time saver. It it's, means less friction. Also, Google of course has a lot of um, a, a very high repetition, so it may be the case that conversion rates increase because be uh, people trust Google and if Google is I don't know how exactly it will work out but if Google you know um, jumps in if something goes wrong or helps the customer I'm not quite sure uh, but if this is the case then of course it may mean that conversion rates will be drastically increased too the point is that the main reason for that is reduced friction as I said and it means that people can check out quicker buy quicker which can only be beneficial to your business now I'm not quite sure if, if this will be available to everyone I don't I, I couldn't really imagine so if they only work with like specific shop systems or if they really do everything for you I'm not entirely sure how this works out but it's definitely super interesting and we should absolutely keep watching that number eight are local campaigns that everyone can use now number eight is not really interesting for you as an e-commerce business owner but if you have a brick and mortar store or you know someone who does or let's say you have clients that are brick and mortar stores this is really interesting because local campaigns will be made available to every advertiser and local campaigns can help you create you know an ad campaign for your brick and mortar store very very efficiently so you provide Google with some text with some images maybe even a video uh, your physical store address and all that stuff and Google creates some ads for you so especially if you're on a small budget or if you handle a lot of clients um, you can use these and try and test how well they work because the ultimate intent of these ads are to get more people to your physical store so so more foot traffic, if you want more walking traffic to your physical destination. And this is something really interesting because especially brick and mortar stores normally don't have the budget, they don't have the skills to really build all these campaigns. Of course, I assume they will be less effective than if you do everything carefully by yourself and mix all these campaigns together. But still, um, as many of the Google automated biddings and automated um, campaigns and, and, and ad types are quite powerful, I expect them to work pretty well um, too.
And now last but not least, we have new showcase shopping formats or placements. So you probably know showcase shopping ads. They are really powerful because you can show people several products that are similar and basically you can advertise a whole category instead of just a single product, which is especially useful for niche stores. Now Google wants to add more placements where you can use these showcase shopping ads. So I'm not sure exactly what they mean, like where to appear or, or anything like that. But if we can place those showcase shopping ads on more places it means that we can expand our reach that we can probably um, you know get our cost per click down and get just more relevant traffic and also ultimately higher conversions to our stores because as I said showcase shopping ads is definitely something you have to try out especially or at least if you run a niche store so yeah these were nine really interesting Google Ads features that are coming this year at least I hope so and um, let me know in the comments which of these seems to be most interesting for you so is there an ad type that you think or a new feature that's exactly right for me that's exactly what I'm looking for this could be really interesting and powerful for your specific situation let me know in the comments it would be very interesting to know and also if you want to jump on a free call with me or someone from my team I'm currently still offering my free clarity calls where you can talk to me or someone from my team about your business your goals where you want to be and also if we think that you are on track to you know be successful with that specific strategy so if you check the link in the description you will see that and also of course my training program the Ecom PPC Academy and as soon as some of these new Google Ad features will be like launched of course you can expect to learn more about that on this channel and especially also in my training the Ecom PPC Academy so thanks a lot for watching I really hope to see you next time as well make sure to subscribe to not miss on anything Google Ads and e-commerce related and now I wish you all the best with your business and I'll see you next time Bye-bye.